Hi right, guys, welcome back to my channel guys. Hope you guys already subscribed. If not, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell. So it's that time of year guys where everybody's asking me for a rum cake recipe. So I'm gonna be doing a rum cake recipe, but this is not a recipe you're gonna find on Google or you're gonna find online. It's gonna be my recipe. So just watch me. I'm gonna guide you guys through it and try it, it's good. All right, guys, so today I'm going to be making a rum cake. It's a Jamaican rum cake, so this is going to be the star of the show, white overproof rum. And these are all of my ingredients that I'm going to be cooking together today. So just stick around and I'm going to go right into it now. All right, so we're going to start by adding our butter. So we're going to cream together the butter and the sugar first. That's the butter. guys so I'm just gonna do three eggs that's the oven guys oven is ready so if we hit the oven to 210 degrees some rum and that's the white rum guys that's that white overproof ah, let's just it up a little bit now we're gonna go ahead and add some lime juice it's a part for a little bit of vanilla extract extract I'm going to go ahead and add some red wine Christmas in here guys you can smell that almond you can smell that vanilla you can smell that rum you can smell that sugar all right now I'm gonna go ahead and add some brown sugar Season is going to bring out a good taste in this rum cake. Let's mix those together a little bit. Now, most people usually sieve their flour with their um, baking powder together before they add in here. Just that they don't you know, mess it up, but I've kind of been doing this for a minute now, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the flour to this batter and just whisk it together. All right. All right. I'm going to add my flour. I'm 
baking powder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fold this in before we get our mixer. So we're just gonna fold this in as best as we can with the spatula. Guys, this recipe I told the man in Jamaica for Christmas growing up I look forward to my rum cake. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to put all the flour at the same time, you're gonna add a little bit. You add half the flour, then you add more. So you don't want to add too much, then it's too thick. Alright, so you get a nice consistency. You're gonna add another cup of flour to this. Then you break out the mixer and you just beat everything, whisk everything together, and you're ready to bake. All right, so let's go ahead, add a little bit more flour. All right, guys, now we're gonna go ahead and break out the mixer. So I got the mixer right here. It's going to start on the low. Alright, so once you get your bacon thin, most people just grease it with butter. But I'm using liquids, liquid butter, so same difference. Just make sure you grease it real good. You just want to add enough, you don't want to do too much for it to go over. You don't want it to be too flat. So, I think actually, I think I, get, I, think I did the right amount actually. Alright, our oven is ready. So, we're going to get this in the oven. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as it's finished. It should take like around 30 to 45 minutes, depending on if it's a commercial oven or a conventional oven. So, I'll see you guys when it's ready. All right, so that's what we got. That's our end product. We're gonna let them cool before we go ahead and cut into it. Nice looking rum cake. And a quick way to test is to push a fork down all the way and pull it out. The fork is clean, you know you're good. All right, so we're gonna let this cool before we cut it. You don't wanna cut a hot cake, it will fall apart. 